Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I've really been enjoying this CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser, and I also have been using it as a hand wash. When it comes to hand hygiene, it's all about the amount of time you spend rubbing your hands together, making sure you get all surfaces. Harsher soaps, don't get your hands any cleaner, they just dry out your skin and lead to irritant hand dermatitis. Avoid those antibacterial hand soaps. They don't do anything to keep your hands cleaner, they don't remove microbes any better, they're not good for your skin microbiome, and they're bad because they put more antimicrobials out into the environment and that cultivates antimicrobial resistance, the emergence of superbugs. It's really a problem. And when I say really a problem, I was reading um, an article the other day that showed an estimated 40% of deaths from infectious causes were the result of infection with resistant microorganisms. Like the antibiotics and antimicrobials we have to treat those things, they're developing resistance to. This morning I'm coming in with the Beta Panthenol Repair Toner that I reviewed for you guys. I finished the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. I'm gonna put it in my empties tub here. But this, I really, enjoy. It is a hydrating, soothing, moisturizing toner. I happen to think this is a good option if you are someone who shaves. I think it's a good option for like an aftershave. And I use it around my eyes too. Speaking of using it around the eyes, I've been using the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Eye Serum. I'm trying to make my way through this so I don't waste it. I reviewed this for you guys. The video should be up. I don't know that the peptides in this do much, but the caffeine does kind of depuff, but the peptides in this allegedly decongest. I see a subtle under eye brightening effect with this product, but I think it's related to the caffeine, similar to what you can get from their caffeine plus EGCG eye product. So I purchased this for the purposes of reviewing it for you guys, and so now I need to finish, make my way through it and finish it so I don't waste it, but I don't know that this would be something I would ever repurchase myself. I would, if you know, I were interested in something for brightening the under eye area, I would go with their caffeine. Um, but this, I actually think, does a really good job. This is a CeraVe Skin Renewing Eye Cream. I reviewed this for you guys last year. It has caffeine and a peptide in it. It's very good. I want to say it's about the same price as the ordinary one, but this is actually like a nice cream and it's easier to apply. Like if you want to use caffeine to brighten the under eye area, I think this is a really good product. And it's easier to just get it right there on the skin and it doesn't end up transferring into your eyes later on in the day when you shower. But <clears throat> I'm not really one to use eye creams. I just use a moisturizer I use on my face around my eyes. Coming in with Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer with sunscreen and niacinamide to complete the look. But yeah, getting back to the issue of uh, antimicrobial resistance. Benzoyl peroxide as an acne treatment, the bacteria do not develop resistance to that. And that kind of actually helps cut down on emergence of bacterial resistance. When, if you have to use antibiotics for acne, if, if used alongside benzoyl peroxide, the benzoyl peroxide helps reduce the risk that the bugs will develop resistance. guys can see but while I stepped outside this morning of course I got a little mosquito bite and as soon as I felt it start to itch and wanted to claw it to bits I went ahead and put I don't know if you can even see it I went ahead and put a hydrocolloid patch on there one of those pimple patches and I swear it just takes the itch away immediately it's like I have totally forgotten that there's a bite there um, this is a game changer for bug bites the hydrocolloid patches taking away the itch helping them to heal faster, flatten out, suck up the fluid as it drains out. I just filmed a Walmart Shop With Me video, which should be up at this point, but this Walmart has gotten a facelift, and if you know, you know, because I film in here all the time, and it's always been a very tidy and organized Walmart, but they like really have stepped up their game, and it's the back to school season, and 
check out the festiveness of these like floating crayons. Can you guys see that? I mean, they have really stepped it up. Oh my God, you guys, flaming Hot Cheeto eyeshadow. Oh my God, there's no seal. And people have been dipping and a flipping with that. Um, so that would be a pass, although those colors are pretty. Too bad it didn't come with a film. Do the other ones have a film? If I was gonna plunk down $9, this one does, but it looks messy art, like somebody's tapped into that. That's a shame. Now you can buy Flamin' Hot Cheetos eye brushes. What in the Cinnamon Toast Crunch makeup brushes? And they have a Cinnamon Toast Crunch eyeshadow palette. This one has been tampered with, but look how cute their little faces on there. Oh my God, Squishimals lip gloss. They're almost always gonna have fragrance or flavorant to make it more fun, but that's a common lip irritant. Squalane is nice and, and smoothing and soothing. Yeah, see the thing about this, similar to like a lip scrub, it gives you like, it gives the user an immediate gratification of softening. But if you develop irritation from the fragrance, which is common, it can end up, you know, later on worsening the dryness. So you're like, oh, let me put more of my Squishmallow lip gloss on. You're like, ooh, nice and soft and smooth. And then it's, the cycle repeats itself. Uh, check this out. A Reese's lip flavored lip balm and a keychain that holds the lip balm. Oh my gosh. Hand soaps. Check this packaging out. Isn't it cute? Bright. These have methyl isothiazolinone in them. But I keep my face wash by my bathroom sink and I just end up using it for hand washing. And then after I rinse the cleanser residue off my hands, I follow up with a coating of Vaseline and it, it keeps my hands hydrated. I get hand eczema, so I've gotta like, I, I've gotta stay on top of my hand care routine, otherwise disaster ensues. Drew Barrymore has a spoon rest. That's actually pretty nice. A swivel peeler and a rolling pin. All of this stuff is $3.97. All right, I also wanted to check out the candles because Mainstays is usually pretty good. They don't have a massive selection here in comparison to the other Walmart. That's cute packaging. I've noticed they don't have the glass toppers anymore. They used to have the, the bell topper and now it just has this film, which I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter, but... Hmm, sweet apple seems nice. Banana nut bread smelled really good, but I had this in the past and it was kind of a letdown. Like it just was not very good. But there is one candle that I've gotten from the Mainstays line that will forever remind me of my San Diego trip with you guys because I bought one to burn in the Airbnb and it always reminds me of that trip. Was it apple pumpkin? It was something, you know, autumnal. Ooh, apple pumpkin is nice. I might get that. These still have the toppers. It looks like some of them don't. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this mini noodle cooker for a couple of noodles. I guess that'd be handy in a dorm room. Oh, look, you can do, you can bake in it. That's handy. Kind of like the easy bake oven for college students. <laughs> cute little svelte toaster. Oh, I love that they have a display one so you can actually see what it looks like. It doesn't look like it would last too long. You can get matching hot oven mitts. Oh, check out this bougie display. This is very new for Walmart. What is with them in the decor? I'm loving it. Like the cooler suspended from the rafters. Like I don't need a little bar cart, but that's cute. Hi, Dev. Mini fridges. Remember when these were all the rage during the pandemic for skincare? Um, people were all about that. I'm kind of glad that trend has died down a bit. It was getting over the top. Some things, you know, are not so bad. Like, you're like, oh, that's cute, whatever. But when you're shown it 999,000 times, it's like, oh my God, I never want to see that again. A little bagel container. I came over here because I was wondering if they maybe had some kitchen towels with lemons on them. It's my latest thing. <laughs> lemon decor for the kitchen. 
I'm still loving my Ninja Blender as a side note. It really does a good job. This is combining two of my favorite things, stickers and coloring. Oh, those are cute. The little princess, prince, princess ones and the mermaid one. Pet people or nice people. Oh, those are really cute. Walmart has really stepped up their sticker options too. I heard they came out with a Ninja Turtles movie. Um, hopefully it's good. They randomly have some mugs over here in the party section. How fun is this? You can throw the marshmallows into the little basketball hoop. It sounds like it's broken, but... Oh, here it is. And is this the... Oh, this one's like a little football where you throw it into the... Whatever that thing is. I'm showing my ignorance. Oh, check it out. Golden Girls cups. I might have to have those. I love that show. This is a pretty nice Hello Kitty mug. I don't know why they have it over here in the party section. I guess if you have a Hello Kitty themed coffee party, I'm not sure. Who is this creature vomiting rainbows? Nightmare Before Christmas tumblers. Oh, that one's cute. I like that one back there. And Walmart's party section is hopping. Like, I don't know why I suddenly feel like I need to have a birthday cake sippy cup. <laughs> birthday sash, sippy cup. Those are pretty plates. Check it out, you can have a Dolly Parton theme party. Um, hello. Life is like a butterfly. Napkins. Wow. You can also have a pioneer woman party. Silicone molds. Oh, look, you can make little shot glasses out of food, like a chocolate shot glass for desserts or an ice one. Back away, Andrea. I always get tempted by these silicone molds and then they float around my kitchen. And so, ooh, popping candies. These look like fun. For a party. Then they have can rock candy. Mm -hmm. Meltums. Cake decorating is one of those things that I always love looking at the supplies I'm fascinated by, but I have like zero desire to get into cake decorating because it seems like a lot of energy and effort and like very easy to mess up. <laughs> Those little flower plates are cute too. And Walmart is the place for cute birthday decorations, if I do say so myself. Oh, I didn't notice this Reed Drummond little cake stand. That'd be cute to like put in your bathroom to set up like beauty products on. Cake serving, whatever they're called, cake server. Even the little cups are pretty. Oh, we missed the dolly, dolly coasters. Might have to have those. Walmart is not here to play with their new clothing section. They have really spiffed it up. Um, I've got the fall clothing in too. I don't know about that. Vest, kind of looks like a bib, am I right? That's pretty though. I love these quilted vests. Like, they're so handy because it doesn't get super cold here, but we do have a few like cold days. And these are always good for layering. $14.98, that's a really good price. It has some really bright colors too. And they have my size. I'm kind of tempted to get this. The material is okay. Like, feels like it would get the job done. Oh, I really like this dress though. This material is really nice. Like the quality on this is very good. It has pockets. You can tie it around your neck. And they have my size. How much is, are they asking for this? $28. That's cute. Oh, this looks comfortable. This 
is the kind of thing that's nice to have in an oversized too. Just to throw on. Speaking of oversized, ooh, these these are nice and soft on the outside. I'm not gonna say buttery soft because I don't know where that terminology came from, but it's like, um, is butter really soft? It's usually kind of squishy, right? I don't know. I don't stroke butter that often. Uh, but apparently a lot of people do. That's pretty. This is a very versatile dress because you could wear it out to dinner, parties, even the office with like a little blazer, depending on how short it is. I like this one too. Oh, you guys, Walmart has stepped it up in there. I mean, I was impressed with the new layout. I wanted to update you guys on that body proud gel body mask because I didn't finish using that. If you'll recall, I shared it with you guys in a monthly favorites fails video. It's a retinol body mask with alpha hydroxy acid in it, acids in it. It does have fragrance and I am convinced that that body mask is a mosquito paradise because anytime I use that body mask, um, I got bit by a mosquito. But it is a pretty good product overall. The consistency is very interesting. It is like a gel. It almost has like too much, I don't know, thickener in it because it's like a jelly. It's a weird jelly like chunky texture. I find that it had a skin softening and smoothing effect. Well, hey guys, I got out of the shower. I did my skincare routine. Basically, you know, cleansed in the shower, got out, put on moisturizer, and then I put on moisturizer on my body put on my pajamas, and now like my face is clean, it's dry, it's moisturized. So this is when I come in with Tretinoin, and it's just the perfect time in my opinion because you have the moisture there to cut down on irritation, but the skin is not as damp that it may be super irritating. It's just a nice balance. So that's when I do it, but you know, when it comes to using moisturizer with retinoid, whether it be prescription or maybe you're choosing an over-the-counter cosmetic retinol, or retinaldehyde, the moisturizing step helps reduce dryness and irritation, but when in your routine you introduce it in relation to when you apply tretinoin, there's a few ways to do it. Check out my little short on how to moisturize with different. I break it down there, but basically you can put moisturizer on before, after, or you can do that moisture sandwich where you put moisturizer on, then you put the retinoid on, and then you put another layer of moisturizer. I personally have never done that, but a lot of patients do well with that when they start a retinoid for the first time. So I mentioned this to you guys when I did my breakdown of the Rode Lip Balm versus the Polish Choice uh, HA lip booster or whatever anyway um and a lot of you guys mentioned you did want me to review more of the road skincare so this is their barrier restore cream i've been using it's like a pretty nice facial moisturizer that's what i have on right now uh to refresh my mind as to what it's like because i think i might actually do a review for you guys i don't know i got like mixed feedback but speaking of skincare products, you notice my eyes a little red. I used that um, the ordinary. I've been using that the ordinary multi-peptide eye serum, and you've got to be careful with that because I find that when I get out of the like when I'm in the shower, my eyes are like oh, itchy and watery, and I swear it's that stuff. I think it's the niacinamide or maybe it's the caffeine. I have never had that happen with like their it must be the nice in mind because i don't think i've had that happen with like their maybe it's the pept one of the peptides because i don't think i've ever had that experience with their caffeine plus egcg eye serum yeah but my eye is like a little red <laughs> just getting out of the shower and i blame i I'm, it's got to be that because when i don't use it i don't have this problem but i saw they have rebooted reformulated done something well i didn't really look in too much detail to be honest they have tweaked around with the buffet which i've always liked um i have actually i'm almost finished with this ugh, ultra breath lancome genifique i told myself i was going to make my way through this 
because objectively it's not bad it does have fragrance which i don't like i try and avoid i suggest you guys try and avoid fragrance and leave on products but this was gifted to me and it's actually not bad but having used 90 i'd say 95 percent of this I can say with 100% certainty that there is no reason in my mind to buy this because, for example, like there are just so many good hydrating Korean toners, Japanese toners that deliver better results than what I am seeing with this. This is hydrating for sure, but like once you once you have dipped your toes in the K Korean and Japanese skincare game, like this kind of thing, it's like not even at the it's just not as competitive now once upon a time this was probably like a golden child because honestly i would say even in the past six years the number of quality hydrating toners on the market has skyrocketed to the point where like we don't need to be paying this kind of dollar anymore for a hydrating antioxidant rich uh serum with you know prebiotics and the like uh we, we just don't need to now if you like this you're you know it's been your holy grail for years I, I can see why it delivers but the fragrance and the price and the performance to me i'm just like this is not it i hope you are having a great weekend coming in with vaseline um if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye